everyone welcome back to my channel and another new video and in this video I'm going to share a little bit more about uh, some you know nice updates in uh, Cubescape which is an open source uh, security tool that you can get started with so you can check out the links in the description below you can check out the DevOps playlist that I made and I've done some amazing uh, you know tutorials on this and we did some nice uh, webinars and Twitter spaces and podcasts around Kubernetes security best practices as well. So this is what the dashboard looks like. Again, I've done videos on this already, so you can check it out. But one thing I want to share is that now, you know, a Kubescape can automatically scan your Kubernetes clusters against the CIS benchmark. So uh, if you don't know what it is, it means that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's basically uh, the full form is Center for Internet Security, right? So if I say benchmarks, there you go. Cool. So using this, you can identify like compliance gaps. You can, it can suggest uh, remediations and monitor for drifts as well. So you can check it out over here. Cool. Okay. And uh, since Kubescape is like an open source project, so this feature was born as like a response from the community, right? And uh, this uh, feature, like, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's in the new release now. Cool. Okay, so here on the dashboard, you can check out, if I go to config scanning, uh, I select this cluster, it's running in SIBO. And here you can see, here I have the CIS, right? So you can check out other frameworks as well, like DevOps best practices, you know, NSA, I did a video on this already. And you can also have your own custom frameworks, right? So I have the Kunal one over here. So here in the CIS, uh, you know, Kubernetes benchmark, it's, uh, you know, used for compliance purpose. And, uh, you know, you'll be getting all the best practices and, uh, you know, all the standards basically in a checklist. So if I close everything else and I just have this one, so you can see it says 21 over here, right? So this one failed, for example, it's saying that this severity is very high. So if I click on this, you know, you can, you can check it out, like why this failed and more information for it you can find over here see so this is the particular line where it failed for it you can also filter it out accordingly and uh, you know like controls and, and resources for example so in deployment these two failed controls okay for example this one failed 0 17 this one Okay, so you can check it out, like what this is all about and, you know, severity and the description of the issue and the remediation, like how can we fix this? So the CIS benchmark will give you this ability to ensure that, you know, the security practices are, uh, you know, up to date by checking the, the system patching, application patching, insecure logins, for example, and data encryption for both at rest and in transit and several other security implementation details. Okay, so check it out and if i go over here you can you know run a scan like that it's pretty cool uh, i will just say cis scan now okay and i also have it running like uh or like it's scheduled so it runs every day so you can see last last one was like right now as you can see it runs every day every single day it's running so it's happening on its own as well this is also a cool feature that cubescape provides and it gives me an automatic notification in Slack. Okay, here I have the community classroom section and the app Cubescape. So you can see over here, it's giving me the report in the Cubescape uh, in the general one, for example, right? For example, I've set it to general. So you can see every day I'm getting the information around my, my scan. Okay, scan risk is higher, please fix this, so on and so forth. Okay, cool. Okay, so Cubescape not only does that, it's it also has the ability to run like the automatic CIS scans, you know, with the CLI, for example, that you can do, and you can also optimize it in the CI/CD pipeline. And if you wanna, you know, learn more about, uh, you know, Cubescape in CI/CD pipelines, like GitHub Actions or GitLab CI or something like that, uh, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll make a video on that. And uh, you can offer, you know, plugins for various uh, CI/CD platforms as well to run your CIS scans. And it will also suggest the fix and, uh, you know, remediations for the same like we just saw. So, Cubescape, you know, it's a pretty powerful tool. So, it calculates the risk score based on, like if you can see over here, the, you know, severity and, and stuff. Uh, it calculates the risk score based on the CIS Kubernetes uh, framework and then tracks them over time to show how the organizations are 
improving their security from the dis from uh, or like if they are differing from the standards so you can also generate reports and stuff like that and if i just go over here export so you can see there are three options over here uh, it says that there are uh, export controls export resources and export um you know exceptions and the remediation thing i was talking about is mentioned as you can see over here see so you can highlight it you can click on it and we will see the command that you know uh, here you can see the daemon set if i go over here these are the ones that are failing okay so we'll get the recommendations and uh, you know this reporting will help users you know and and the engineering teams to better understand what is you know actually happening in their uh, kubernetes environment and uh, you can see that uh, export control if i export it and this is exports control so if i click on this let's see what will happen download all controls.csv so here it has basically you know uh, you can see the output it in a in an excel spreadsheet and some of the pass some of the skip some of failed so this can now be shared with management or like other engineers on the team to understand what is happening under the hood for example right sounds good so you can check out various other things uh, over here and uh, pretty amazing stuff uh, available so yeah that's uh, you know basically about it that's what i wanted to show you and um, yeah <laughs> that's it so if you like this video you can share about it and uh, you know on socials and check out the devops bootcamp playlist check out the definitely check out the previous videos we did on kubernetes security if you're new to it and uh, if you have any questions leave those in the comment section below you want to get started with it check out the devops playlist and uh, yeah that's pretty much about it one more thing is that you can also contribute to kubescape uh, you can go to the github repository and you contribute and um, should be here You can just search for cube scape here cube scape here we have it so open source project issues are open many of the nice people from our community contributed to it so you can contribute you can give it a star and uh, just check it out yeah it'll solve most you know like your uh, kubernetes security uh, issues and stuff cool that was fun and thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i'll see you in the next one have a great day